In this example, I need to find the exact value of the sine of 112.5 degrees. As it says exact value, that means I cannot use my calculator. I have to use the unit circle. But there's one problem. 112.5 degrees is not on my unit circle. In fact, all the angles measured in degrees on the unit circle are whole numbers. So there's no way to add or subtract two angles on the unit circle to get the angle I'm looking for. Hopefully, I'll be able to use a half angle identity and to check, we take two and multiply it by 112.5 degrees and we get 225 degrees. Is that angle on my unit circle? Yes, it's right here. So I'm going to be able to use a half angle identity and here is the identity for the sine function. So the sine of a over two is plus or minus the square root of one minus cosine a over two. So for this case, the sine of 112.5 degrees equals the sine of 225 degrees divided by 2. So in our formula up here, A is going to equal 225 degrees. And before I work out any numbers, I have to figure out, do I need the plus or the minus on this square root? Well, I have the sine of 112.5 degrees. 112.5 degrees is in this region on the unit circle. It's in quadrant two. Is the sine function positive or negative in quadrant two? Remember, the sine function is y over r. Y values are positive in quadrant two. So the sine function is positive in quadrant two. So I'm going to have to pick the positive square root when I evaluate my answer. So I'm going to have the positive square root of 1 minus the cosine of 225 degrees all divided by 2. And now what is the cosine of 225 degrees? Remember, the cosine is the x-coordinate of points on the unit circle, so it's negative the square root of 2 over 2. So I'm going to have the square root of 1 minus a negative square root of 2 over 2, all divided by 2. Now to simplify, I need to add fractions in the numerator. So this fraction in the numerator has a denominator of 2, so I'm going to have to turn 1 into a fraction with a denominator of 2. So it's the 1 turns into 2 over 2. Minus a negative becomes positive, the square root of 2 over 2, all divided by 2. Now I can add my numerators. Sorry, I'm running out of room here. I'm going to get 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2. That's the common denominator in the numerator. And then that's going to be divided by this 2 that I'm going to turn into a fraction by dividing it by 1. So now I have a fraction divided by a fraction. Remember, everything's still underneath the square root sign. I'm going to take the fraction in the numerator, which is 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2, leave it alone, and then multiply it by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. Well, the reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 half. So now I get 2 plus the square root of 2 times 1, which is just the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 all divided by the square root of 2 times 2 is 4, 
And finally, our answer is the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2, all divided by the square root of 4, which is 2. So that is the exact answer for the sine of 112.5 degrees. Lastly, I can check my answers on the calculator. I need to find the decimal approximation for the sine of 112.5 degrees. So make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And then find the, the sine of 112.5 degrees. Hit enter. That is the decimal approximation. Now I want to see if I get the same decimal approximation for my exact answer. It's safest to put the numerator in parentheses. So I'm going to have parentheses around my whole numerator. I need the square root, which is in blue, above the x squared. So second x squared gives me the square root, and now I need 2. Stay under that square root sign, plus now I need another square root of 2. And notice I'm under both of the radicals. I need to get out of there, so arrow over. And now I'm out of both of the radical signs. Now you close your parentheses for the numerator, and then you divide by 2 and hit enter. Did I get the same decimal approximation as this? Yes, I did. So that tells me that my exact answer is correct.